All right, Pouring Nation, today I wanted to create an acrylic pour with pastel colors, but I don't have any pastel colors paints, so I had to create my own colors. And I've learned a few things that I think are gonna really help you out when you're making your own pastel colors and when you're trying to integrate pastel colors in an acrylic pour. So first of all, pastel colors are regular colors like I have here, my crimson red, phthalo blue, and lemon yellow. But what we're gonna do is we're going to reduce the saturation. So not make them not as vibrant as they were. When then we're going to put the value down closer to white. So what I've done here is I actually mixed my paints on my Lolly Vifi silicone mat first, and then I put them in the cup to add the pouring medium. And so with the pink, I took my red, and in order to dull the color or to reduce the saturation, I need to add the opposite color. The opposite color on the color wheel is green, so I took a very tiny bit of blue and a very tiny bit of yellow, mixed it with the red, that dulled it down, and then I added white. Same thing with the blue. Uh, for blue, the opposite color on the color wheel is orange, so I mixed my, did a bunch of blue, added a tiny bit of yellow and red, mixed that up, that dulled it down, added some white. Now yellow is interesting here because when I was mixing my yellow, even a tiny bit of the blue just turned it green immediately. So you, re I, this is why I like to mix my colors on a silicone mat because then I can get even the tiniest bit. If I'm trying to drip a drop into my cup while I'm mixing, it's really hard to get the smaller amounts. So again, teeny tiny bit of blue, teeny tiny bit of red, that dulled down the yellow and then added white to uh, bring the value way closer to the white side. And that is essentially how you get a pastel color. And you can make almost any color pastel by doing that. Now with this, I made up my own colors. As I, me I mentioned those, I'm gonna use a Craftsmart Silver. And then I made my own kind of like a Payne's Gray. It's just a really dark blue, um, which I just used leftover paints that I had. I had dark blue, thalosine blue from Calicotex Basics. It's probably two thirds of these colors and one third of the Blacrylic uh, Mars Black. All right, so I'm using a 20 by 20 canvas. That's 400 square inches plus the extra 20 from each side. So 440 square inches. Divide that 20 by 25, I need about, for a normal pour, I need about 18 ounces of paint. Uh, because I'm doing a Dutch pour, uh, I'm not gonna need as much because I'm not really going to tilt anything off. So I have a little bit less than that here. And I'm going to do the flood coat first, use my big blow dryer for the initial, and then probably my small blow dryer to make some uh, little details. So one interesting thing about pastel colors is because they have so much white in them, if you put just pastel colors together, you get kind of a blah painting, at least in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is put it on a dark background so it gives some relief to that those really light value colors. And also I'm gonna add in a little bit of sparkly with the silver, and hopefully that keeps this from being too kind of monochromatic or, or very light colors. Another thing that you could do if, if you're doing a different style of pour is to put like a transparent but a darker sh color in between. So, you know, I might put a, you know, do a pastel color and then do like a uh, purple or something and then the pastel blue. Not a lot of those colors. You just want enough to make the pastel colors pop out of the painting rather than just everything looking the same. White doesn't work as well for that just because these already have a ton of white in them already. Black can work, but too much black really takes over. So that, those are just some hints when using uh, pastel colors. So first of all, then again, my blow dryer, I'm just gonna get two or three inches off low and a slight incline. So instead of straight up and down, you want a slight incline to move the paint around. And yes, I could leave a lot more on here. I don't like to have a ton of paint on here because then I'm wasting a lot off the sides. And to be perfectly honest, I'm a little bit cheap. These are expensive. So I don't want to use too much if I don't have to. All 
All right, so now we'll use my little one to move this around. I like to start in the middle and kind of move off from there so that I'm moving outward from the middle to the outside. With this little one, I just use the low, sorry, with the little one, I use the high setting. With the big one, I use the low setting. All right, so I do love how this far corner turned out. All the little cells that we have there, you can see. This is the part that I didn't like a lot. I think it looks better. I don't know that it's perfect yet, but it looks a lot better. But you can see the pastel colors, even though they're on top of each other, they have the gray to kind of, and it will be glittery that will help, but then they have the background that they really jump off of. I really like, I like some of the greens that the yellow created in the Payne's gray or the really deep blue. Overall, I really like how that turned out.